In this video, I'm going to show you how to cook Nutria in a crock pot. Hi, Megan Bogang, and welcome back to another episode. So if you were here for the last video, I believe it was, we went Nutria hunting, and we got a few Nutria, so now it's time to cook them. So we're going to be cooking these Nutria in a crock pot. This is a recipe I found online uh, a while back. I tried it. It sucked. So I modified it a little bit. So the first step I like to do is get the crock pot situation out of the way before we brown our Nutria and stick it in. So, so I got all the ingredients laid out right here behind me. Got my stuff already cut up so I didn't have to put y'all through all of that. But the first step, we're gonna take two potatoes, little brown russet potatoes. We're gonna slice it relatively thin and I'm gonna layer the bottom of the crock pot with these potatoes. Lay them out there till it covers the bottom. recipe says to take a small onion thinly slice and place that on top of the potatoes but I'm like a small onion man what that's gonna do so I gotta be a big onion I thinly sliced it and now I'm gonna place it on top of my potatoes small onion. and then it says you can take a carrot thinly slice a carrot and put that across the top instead I just got some baby carrots It also says you can put Brussels sprouts and a sliced tomato all up in there too, but um, I didn't have those, so we're not gonna go with that. All right, now that we got our veggies in the pot, I'm gonna add a cup of water, get a little bit of juice up in there, and it calls for a half a cup of white wine. I don't, I don't know how much that is in this little bottle, but that's how much we're gonna use. It might be a little bit more than a half a cup, but uh, I'm not driving. Now, as far as the seasoning goes, uh, it talks about you can use two teaspoons of sliced garlic. Well, I don't have sliced garlic. We have minced garlic. What I'm going to do with two teaspoons. And after the garlic, all it says to do is salt and pepper the Nutria to taste. What that's going to do? Like I said, I tried this recipe before with just the salt and pepper. It was, it was, uh. So, I decide... We're gonna add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Then we're gonna add a little touch of liquid smoke. Just a little dab will do you. A little bit of Crystal's hot sauce. Just gonna get a little, a little measured teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Sprinkle that across. And once you got all that in there, we're gonna turn our crock pot on. We're gonna put it on high. And while that's warming up, we get down to the rat. So the recipe doesn't call for it, but I like to brown the meat before I stick it in the crock pot. So I'm just gonna put a little dab of oil in, the, in this uh, in this cast iron skillet right here. Let that start heating up. And I'm gonna season the Nutri itself with uh, some Sloppy Mama Cajun seasoning. Now you can use Tony's or any kind of Creole seasoning that you want to. I'm gonna take out that hair. I'm just going to do one of these at a time. Oh, yeah. All right, now that we got a little brown on that, we're going to slap this puppy in the crack pot while we go ahead and brown the other one. Ooh, I love that sound. All right, now the second nutrient is good and brown. I'm going to drop him in there in that crock pot too. I'll grab a few of these and just toss that on top. A little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic, maybe some juices. Like so. And then you could add your salt and pepper to taste. I like to put a little bit of black pepper right there on top. Now the Slappy Mama's got plenty of salt in it so I probably don't need to add any of that. But remember you can always add salt. Never take it away. Let it cook for a little while. I'll taste the juice. If it don't taste salty enough, then I'll put a little bit of more salt in there. But that's uh pretty much it for this. So I'm just gonna leave the top on. Whoa. I'm gonna put the top on the crock pot. We're gonna let it cook. Don't worry so much about how long to cook it. You just check it every now and then, stick a fork in the meat. Once that meat starts falling off the bone, you know it's ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this on high. I'm gonna check it every now and then. Uh, and I'll get like a little spoon, grab some of that juice and just Base the top of the Nutria as it cooks. 
I'll see you when it's done. All right, well, it's a couple of few hours later. Let's see what we got. Ooh, woo! Mm, that look good. Oh, yeah, look at that. Just breaking right apart. Mm, mm, mm. Check that out. Ooh, woo! Mmm. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is a good thing. They don't taste like they look. Mmm. So there you go, folks. If you happen to get your hands on some Nutria, you need to give it a try. And if you have eaten Nutria before, let me know in the comments below uh, your favorite way to eat it. Well, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this one, folks. I'm about to chow down on some Nutria. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know about it. Um, and if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss an upload because we've got plenty more of outdoor content to come. And even some delicious videos like this one.